Well, this video is intended to be a short demonstration of this ACM M500, which has been modified to resemble a Serbu Super Shorty shotgun. The main feature that I've been asked about is the new feed mechanism. The way it works is very simple. Ordinarily, the ACM M500 feeds from a series of three tubes stored in the magazine tube, which are used sequentially to provide ammunition. However, this was unsuitable with the shortened length, as each one would only be able to hold enough BBs for a couple of shots, and then reloading would be difficult. So I decided to instead adapt it to use a standard Tokumarui or a clone tri-shot shells, only modified in that the back rim is cosmetically cut off, has no function on their performance. Now the way this was accomplished was the feed nozzle was cut off from an old AK hop-up unit and epoxied in place on the gas block right in the middle of the magazine tube uh, over a hole which was drilled using a Dremel in the gas block and the existing one being filled up. So the way it operates is equally simple. Shells taken, inserted in the front of the magazine tube, then a follower built from what remains of the original tubes follows it. Once in place, it uh, forces the shell against the nozzle from the AK hop-up unit, causing it to feed into the receiver, which is then ready to fire. Uh, when it's empty, all that has to happen is pull the cap off, and then either the shell will fall out, pulled out by the vacuum seal, or slight tap of the extractor ejects the shell. In this way, ammunition is limited only by how many shells the user can carry on their person and is significantly faster than trying to reload the tubes on the standard ACM M500. Each shell, holding 30 BBs, is good for exactly 6 shots for it needs to be reloaded, which of course isn't very much, but uh, as long as the user has enough shells and is able to reload in a sufficiently quick amount of time, it's enough firepower for at least a sidearm.